Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel, aka Hashlips, and welcome back to the version 1.0.4 update. So that people actually get the chance to now upload their data to IPFS. After this video, I will make an extensive video on how to do that process. But as always, we need to look at the updates first so everyone understands. If you haven't seen this video se series before, go and watch it right now. It's this purple series. This will be the fifth video. Anyway, let's jump right into it and look at the new updates. What you can do to follow along is go to Hashlips Art Engine and go and download the latest release is version 1.0.4. Once you have downloaded it, you can open your folder structure in an IDE such as Visual Studio Code. Then simply go and run npm install. Once you do that, npm is going to install the canvas module, which is a dependency that we need. While this is installing, let me just briefly talk over what changed. Firstly, when you do a build, and everyone knows this program by now. If you don't, just go watch the previous videos. But when you do a build, you now get your JSON and your images in a separate folder. This is for a good reason and it has to do with how you upload this to IPFS. Great, I see that everything was installed successfully. To test out this project, what it does is it takes all these layers in the layers folder and it mixes them up based on their rarities like so and it mixes them up and creates new images. You can run the program by running in the terminal node space index.js. By doing this the, co the computer will now sit and think and compute and mix all these files together producing new layers and new images. Let's wait for it to start and there you can see I'm creating 20 different artworks with DNA. If you open the build folder now, you can see in your images there's all your new uniquely created artworks. In the previous video, I talked about the configuration settings where you can actually add a blend mode. So you can say blend and then for blend you have a mode and let's make this color burn. I just want to see how this will turn out. You can also optionally add an opacity and maybe make it 0.4. I'm going to run this series again by running node space index.js. Remember you have to have node installed. But please follow the description on the repo and also the previous videos to understand what I'm busy doing. Let's go and have a look at the outcomes of these images. Well, they look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these images as they are right now. And then I want to show you how you can now get these ready for IPFS. So once you have rendered your images, they're in this build folder, in the images folder, and your JSON is sitting in the JSON files. There you can see. Now, our whole goal is to be able to, after we have updated a or rendered a collection, to go afterwards and update this image URL. How do we do that for so many different files? Because sometimes there's 10,000 different files down here. So how can we achieve changing all these separate files, thousands of files, in one go? Well, it's simple and easy, so just follow along. Previously in the video, I showed you that you can run the raritydata.js. How you're going to run utilities from now on is actually typing node space utils forward slash and the utility you want to run. In this case, let's run the raritydata.js. This will give us an overview of how rare our attributes are going to be. Now for the exciting one. If you want to update all this metadata in the JSONs, uh, in these JSON files, if you want to update the image 
URL there. What you can do is go to your source file in your config and update it over here. So let's say this or let's make it actually look like a nice um, URL. So let's take this beginning part and say, I don't know, was replaced like that. Okay. So whatever you put that base URI as, this is what it's going to change it to. Keep in mind, you have to do this after you have ran your whole collection because you don't want to rerun node.index.js. You don't want to overwrite your data. At this point, the next utility will only override the metadata image uh, layer, right? Or the image uh, value. How you do that is in your terminal, you're going to run this utility over here. So in the utils, it's called update base URI. So we're going to say node utils forward slash update update uh, base URI dot JS. Once we run that, you can see how quickly it did this. It says that everything is now updated to the IPFS was replaced. And if we go into the JSON data, you can see that all these images, uh, metadata files have now been updated with the corresponding address. Please keep in mind that it still appends the 13.png, so it only changes that base URI. This is very important for when it comes to uploading IPFS data to something like Pinata or NFT storage, whatever you want to upload it to. That is simply the update for today's video. I'm very excited for this next video after this one because I'm actually going to show you how to upload this onto Pinata and onto a smart contract and make everything work very quickly. So until next time, thank you very much. As always, leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you loved about this. Tell me how this is going to help you. And I'll always keep on adding new features, updating these awesome repos. Till next time, guys, have an amazing day.